I want to do some things here real quick by way of review. I'm going to step back a little bit so you can see this whole presentation right here. Here's our sun. Here's our current planet. Okay, well, our only planet actually, but here's our planet. Here's our axis. The axis is sitting at 23 and a half degrees. This is the equator. This is the Tropic of Cancer, representing the summer solstice on 620, that is June 20th. This is the Tropic of Capricorn, representing the winter solstice on December 20th, 1220. This is the, tro this is the uh, winter solstice. This line right through here is called the ecliptic line. It's the line that the sun travels across as it travels across the earth here. The light of the sun moves across the earth here. Okay, This X right here represents what we call the vernal or the spring equinox on March 20th, 320. It also represents the fall equinox or the autumn equinox on 921. This is all by way of review. I've simply just added this line, some of this additional information in here, and we want to move on to our next presentation. You'll see a number of different things in here that have been added. <clears throat> but before we go on, again, this is our equator. This is the Tropic of Capricorn. This is the Tropic of Cancer. This is our current axis orientation, 23 and a half degrees your north pole here, your south pole here. You'll see the ecliptic line, as you saw it here, where the sun is moving across the earth. Here's your summer solstice, here's your winter solstice, uh, and here is your, your equinox points. But in addition to this angle, you're going to see this and this. This red line represents the celestial axis, okay? This is called the celestial axis, and it is marked by a constellation known as Draco or the dragon. This line right here is also seen here, but it's, it's showing it in a different position. There's a reason for it. It's because over time, this line moves around this circle up here, crosses over the celestial axis, and comes to this point right here. This movement, if we were to allow it to continue all the way through its process without any changes or interruptions or anything that would actually cause it to move faster, this process here, going from here to here, takes approximately 26,000 years. The change of the angle is roughly 47 degrees. When this moves across here, it causes these lines to move up and down along not only from our orientation to the sky but also on the earth. So in other words the equator and the tropics would have been at a different orientation quite, significant, quite significantly different orientation in the past and will again in the future as well. It also changes our orientation to the ecliptic line as well. If you were to actually take this Hourglass shape, uh, hourglass shape right here and kind of look down through it or look up through it. You kind of see something like this if you were to draw it out. This is our current axis represented here. So this would say, let's say this is the North Pole, okay? And then this dot right here represents the celestial axis. This green line here represents the ecliptic line. That's the line that the sun travels through as it goes across in the course of a time of year. It moves in this direction, and then it's on this line that we see all of our constellations, or in other words, our 12 constellations of the Masoreth. This line right here represents the equatorial uh, orientation, and it's showing how this circle right through here, which is our equatorial orientation, this equatorial orbit goes this way, or this movement goes this way as well. There are also constellations along this equatorial line. Those constellations, there are six of them. 
The primary ones are three different dragons, and we'll get to those a little bit later on. Over time, you kind of take your celestial point right here. The celestial point is the center of this marking here, not this one. So if we take and we go around the celestial axis, remember this takes 26,000 years, this circle is going to move in sort of an oblong way around it. And essentially, this right here will end up over here, just like this ends up over here. And here's your, here's your uh, celestial uh, access point. This will move up across the celestial access and over to this side over here. Now, as a result of that, all of these lines tend to move up and down. I'm going to take a moment here, step out of the picture. Unless you have a look at this, we'll go on to the next video.